look at three very different reads on the consumer and on two Ryan Cohen names after the bell today. We're talking Chewy, GameStop, and Dollar General in today's earnings exchange. Here with our trades is Lee Munson. He's Portfolio Wealth Advisors President and CIO. Tip of the hat to you, Lee. Welcome. Let's start with Chewy. Those shares have lost nearly half their value this year. Piper Sandler is warning on softening demand for higher profit margin items and declining prices in pet food. Interesting. JP Morgan, meanwhile, is bullish on revenue from its auto ship subscribers. How would you, Lee, if you had to, if you want to, play this stock? Well, the first thing that I'll do is this is a trade. In terms of a longer-term investment, I have some problems. Number one is that management is kind of Pavlovianly made analysts only focus on the auto ship numbers. Is it going to be 70? Is it going to be 75%? They're talking about how much sales per customer. That's great, but that's not the real story. They have about 20 million active customers. They did last year and the year before. We're not growing new people. Why am I going to pay 150 PE or whatever? Oh, and the, you know, next year it might be, you know, 50 or 30. We don't know. Unless this thing can double the amount of people out there, I'm not that interested in. So I think that when you talk about where the option interest is and they're making a big move, this is all about you know what's happening right now. I think my problem with Chewy, it's kind of like a chain store that can't open any more branches. And when you look at the last couple of years, hmm. sure, revenues are up 30 percent. But let's be honest. Pet food inflation is up 30 percent. I don't see the growth. I think it's just a trading stock. Nothing wrong with that. My dog loves it, so I have to say that. You think the pet trade is whimpering out. I get it. I see what's happening there. We'll move along to GameStop then, which is down nearly 20 percent this year, but coming off a retail-driven rally at the end of November. Obviously, it's been levitating. Wedbush watching the shift from physical to digital download games and softening holiday demand for other hardware like the Nintendo Switch. Uh, retail investor activity, of course, always a driver of the share price. What do you, what do, you do with this one, Lee? I'm going to try to be mature about this meme stock. Let's look at the last five years. Our compounded annual growth rate is negative 7%. Our cost of revenues is going up, not down. So they have got to pay more and more to make a buck. When you look at the only thing that grows about GameStop over the last couple of years is the collectibles line meaning that the place where they really do well is selling more Pokemon cards and what are called Funko Pops, which are these little plastic doll things. But when you look at the ads and you look at their website, it's not about consoles, it's not about Fortnite, it's not about Call of Duty, it's about little plastic figurines and trading cards. Everything else is going down with this ship. They even like, did they even get a COVID bump with all that stimulus money? No, they couldn't even do that right. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of faith in this company. I'm not saying you should go short it because again, it's a meme stock. What I would do is I would walk backwards and walk far, far away and find another company to buy. All right, you're doing the moonwalk away from that one. Maybe to Dollar General, which is down more than 40% this year, but off of the October lows when CEO Jeff Owen was ousted after less than a year. KeyBank is watching for consumer trade down to the discounters and big competition from Dollar Tree and Walmart. They're bullish on the return of Ted Vassos as CEO, though, hoping he can address the sales decline and store safety concerns. Is this a chance to pick up the shares? I think so. You know, I love this thing at 100 right before uh, Vassos came back. You know, it's run up a little bit. I, I, let me just tell you, I, I kind of regret I didn't just jump in a little bit earlier, a few months ago. But here's the thing. They'll get the inventories down. I love the pop shelf stores. I got about, I think, three or 400 of those out. They look cool. It's more about little goods and little things to buy. I think people don't understand this company. It's a tough business. However, the PE is so cheap compared to its other competitors. Also, they've got the new you know, CEO back that's making people feel comfortable. But this is not something that has a moat. This is like the only game in town. I live in New Mexico. We have a lot of rural areas where a lot of people don't have gas money to drive 25 miles to a Walmart. They got three bucks in their pocket and they need some things like toothpaste and necessities. And Dollar General provides that. So I think that people don't understand that as long as they can make the stores a little safer, that's an issue. All right, we got to go. Uh, any parting thought on Disney? You warming up to it at all? Not at all. Not warming up. Kids didn't want to watch Indiana Jones. They said they don't like old white guys in movies. My what? daughter doesn't care about princesses. It's Hunger Games and Taylor Swift. Same problems. I love Disney. Go to the parks, stream it, find another stock to buy. All right, and tell us when you're turning into a buyer. We want to note that down on that one. Lee, thank you very much. Lee Munson, Portfolio Wealth Advisors.